Hi everyone, so I posted this look on Instagram this week and I thought I should film a tutorial. Got really great feedback. Follow me on Instagram, Nikki Beauty Bliss. I post things on there probably like five, six days a week. New eye looks, OOTDs. Check it out, it's free. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with using my NYX liner pencil and cutting the crease. And then I realized, uh oh, I forgot my tape. Tape is important because it's gonna create really clean and precise lines and it allows you to be a little more sloppy with still having those really clean lines. So I've got the tape on, so I'm gonna go back and with the liner, I'm kind of being sloppy here and I'm just cutting the crease. Don't worry, because we're gonna buff it out, go in with a lot of colors in the crease. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going in with my Real Techniques brush and buffing that out and just making sure that it, you know, that it's pretty well blended because we're going to go in with this purple color from the Morphe palette and I'll link the exact palette name below. I'm using an angled brush with the purple and it kind of looks black because remember we just put black on, but it really is a deep, beautiful purple. So then I was like, ah, oh, this angle brush isn't working. Let me try the brushes that came in the palette. No, I don't know why I keep trying to use these little brushes. They do not do the job. So I'm gonna go in with my buffer brush and just buff out that black and purple, making sure they're blended. And then we're going to go in with our, oh, we're adding more purple here. I was about to say we're using the NYX Jumbo Pencil. We're adding more purple because I really wanted the purple to pop. Now we're going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and we're going to use this as the base for our eyeshadows. And you see the tape is really helping because I'm being kind of sloppy. And don't worry if you get some of the Jumbo Pencil in the crease. Just go ahead back in like I am and buff it out. I didn't put any more product on the brush. Moving on to the lid, we are going to use this light purple shade on the center of the lid. I love the colors in here. They're perfectly pigmented, especially when you use a base. I'm just putting that focusing on the center of the lid because on the outer corner we're going to use a darker purple and that's what I'm doing here from that same palette and then we're going to leave the very inner corner white to give a gradient effect. So I'm just overlapping the light purple and the dark purple. Moving on to glitter. I got this lavender glitter from the beauty supply store for like $2.99. So I use my uh, MAC Mixing Medium to make it stick to the eye and it's so finely milled, it's beautiful. I start with a little and then I pile on as much as I want for added intensity. Now I'm using the NYX Gel Liner. I love this stuff. I usually use liquid liner when I'm using glitter but this glitter is so finely milled that I didn't even have to use uh, liquid. So I'm using gel. I'm doing a pretty dramatic wing. Now I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay Mascara and then I popped on my Red Cherry Lashes in number 48. So now I'm using that same liner that we used in the crease on the lower lash line and I have such a hard time doing um, lower liner because <laughs> my eyes start watering. So this is the finished eye look. I already had my brows done. Moving on to the face. So I'm going to start with priming my face with the e.l.f. Face Primer. I actually did a full review on e.l.f. Cosmetics, so I'll link that down below. First impressions where I check in with you throughout the day to see how it holds up. And I did a massive e.l.f. haul, so I'll link those below. So I'm going in with my Fit Me foundation and I'm using my Real Techniques foundation brush. And I just like to push that into the skin first and then I start swiping it on the skin. But I always push it into the skin first. I find that it looks more smooth and lasts longer. Going in with my e.l.f. concealer, this stuff is full coverage and very thick. It's thick. It's very similar to the um, MAC concealer, but it doesn't, I don't want to say it creases because if you set it with a powder, it, crease, it does not crease. It's just, I don't think it's as long wearing as the MAC concealer, but I love it. Just have to set it and don't expect it to last all day, but it's great. It's very thick. So my little trick when I highlight is I like to go around the areas of where I highlighted with my foundation brush, brush just to make sure that it is blended very well. Then I'll go back in and blend the concealer. Moving on to contour. I always contour my nose. I don't always contour my full face, but I will always contour my nose. And I'm just using the Black Radiance Foundation Stick in Walnut. And then I like to use my finger to blend it out because the heat from the fingers really helps to blend out that contour. I'm using this NYX Neutral Lipstick. It's like a light pink lipstick and that is the finished full face look. Here's the finished eye look. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.